Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ana Lucia Rosano, Logistics Transformation for AB InBev in Middle Americas. And today I'll, I'll discuss real quick how we embrace innovation within our organization and how we cascade this innovation mindset throughout our supply chain operations and in our front lines. So we know that the world around us has evolved. Uh, it's becoming more digital, more connected, more flexible, and we knew that this future was coming. But f during the last two years, it accelerated, and that future is now. So for us, for, for the industries, for supply chain, as a result, this translates to a more challenged a way of working for us, because customer experience has become the centerpiece of all of our everyday decisions. And our customer is not only becoming more digital, and it's not only becoming more looking for just-in-time, on-demand solutions, but also is more used to the analytics around us and is expecting more personalized, customized solutions. Um, it's expecting a frictionless process, seamless processes. Uh, it doesn't want more travel, doesn't want any more extra steps, any more time with the, with the solutions that we can offer to them. And that translates to instant gratification. And the how we do this, how we get to our new customers' demands and meet our customers' expectations and get to our targets to reach the customer experience we want, the how translates to a more challenging supply chain and to how we do our logistics. For us in AB InBev, we're changing from a product-centric, cost-centered logistics to a customer-centric, full focused on our customer needs and customer experience. And for that, we're focusing since last year and, and beginning to, to do these exponential changes in our logistics to be more data-driven to be more flexible, more complex, we're changing from a, a fixed routing, fixed processes to flexible, dynamic processes. We're changing from a traditional last mile to multi-origin, multi-channel, multi-modal, from using trucks to using crowdsourcing bikes, motorcycles. So all of these changes that we're doing in our supply chain, changing from planned horizons to same day deliveries, and we know that this complexity will only continue to to evolve and this will only continue to increase. And we need to be prepared, but not only prepared, we need to be sustainable. So we in AB InBev and in Middle Americas, we envision what we call a liquid supply chain, which means that we need to work as an integrated end-to-end -end ecosystem in our supply chains, where we move together as one piece. And if something moves in our ecosystem, moves the rest of our supply chain in real time, and not only to react, but to be predictive and to be ready and prepared for what comes. So for this, we need to be 100% sustainable, digital, transformational, and innovative. We have four pillars um, that we focus on when we talk about projects and initiatives. We, we have the pillar where we sustain. We do fix the basics for our processes. We also are focusing on digital pillar, paperless solutions. We have the transformational pillar, where we maximize our supply chain of the future operations and we change the way we operate. And we have our innovational pillar. And for this part, we, we, we prioritize and we look for innovation processes and innovation um, products that will help us scale, because we want everything we do to be able to scale in all of our, of our uh, company around the world to create value, but value not only around benefits, but also to increase customer experience, to increase NPS, to improve our operations, to reduce accidents, to have better safety and safer operations, and also everything that can be integrated in our logistics ecosystem. So we have two ways that we innovate in our company. We use closed innovation, and we also have open innovation programs. Um, in our company, the close innovation program that we use and that started in, in our Middle America zone is the beer tank. This beer tank is a prog program that we cascade to the operations and all around our countries where we gather ideas from the people working 
in the front line and the supervisors and the directors we have. And these ideas that we gathered, we do a competition where we select the best and we invest in them and we create the MVPs and generate value in our operations. And with this, we also cascade this innovation mindset for the people to, to propose and to be ready and to be thinking in the future. And in our open innovation works that we have, we have this innovation day. That's the day that we have each year where we collaborate and connect with other companies and startups around the world. And we open our gaps to them and we receive proposals and solutions. And we also have this competition where we select the best ideas that will help us close these gaps. We also have open innovation programs inside our company, global innovation programs like Levadura de Ideas, and, and also an innovation hub here in Israel where we look out for startups and do scouting to find the solutions that will help, help us close these gaps that we've already mapped in our operation and that we've already mapped through these closed innovation programs as well. So for, I don't know why this is, Okay, so one example um, of some of these innovations that we've done, just before we start with this specific example of uh, uh, open innovation, last year when we did our beer tank, we gathered more than 250 internal ideas inside our company. And from these 250, we did the competition and we selected three and we invested in the three of them and we, we gathered interesting results from these internal uh, hubs and internal innovations we did with our operations. And one of these gaps that we opened through our beer tank was regarding the maintenance we have in our trucks and the gaps that we could, we could close with collaboration with other companies to try to improve our maintenance and, uh, and our fleet management. So with the open innovation programs, we selected a startup to work with us, Nemo Data, and we did a pilot last year. Our pilot scope was uh, focused on Mexico. We have more than 3,500 trucks in our operation in Mexico that are owned fleet for our tier two distribution. And with a 2% of scope of this Mexico's fleet, we did a pilot with Nemo Data. We had a historical data analysis where we knew that we were paying the double for our corrective maintenance in those fleets uh, instead of preventive maintenance. So we had this challenge to close. And we also, inside of Scope, put the challenge to start seeing results in the first three months. So what was the result of this pilot we did with the Nemo Data, which is a startup that we gained from here, from Israel? Um, we, in three months, could see the benefits, operational benefits. We increased more than 7%, um, sorry, reduced 7% of our corrective maintenance costs in our fleet, in this part of the fleet where we did the, the pilot. And also, the NPS of our solution improved from five to nine points in only three months in this universe where we were doing the, the pilot. And also the integration we did with the rest of our systems, with our telemetry, with our GPSs and our information of our drugs was also successful. So other benefits that we gained was the data, integrity and transparency, because we started collecting more data that we were already gathering through the platform and the supplier oversight and management that we gained. So, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> This is not working very well, but <laughs> just want to see this video. Well, how do you steer? <laughs> the wheel came off. <laughs> okay. So, what do we see here? For us in AB InBev, we're not only working to innovate and to create technology and to bring technology that looks good on the outside and that we can innovate and create systems only to discuss and talk about technology. What we don't want in our company is something like this, where from the outside, looks good, right? We have this car and 
going on with this analogy, we have a car that looks good on the outside, but when we look on the inside, it's all manual, it's not working as it should. You know, there's people riding like a bicycle inside the car. So for us, it's not only about looking for innovation and doing collaboration with startups and, and having strategic um, partners that work with us. We're also working and looking into the foundations of the solutions that we build. And continuing with this analogy, we're, we're focusing this year specifically in ABM Bev and in Middle Americas to build these foundations regarding data, processes, people around technology, not only the systems that we gathered. So for example, for us, the data in this analogy, in this analogy is the fuel that will make the car move. Okay, so we can not only have the technology and the car, we need the fuel that will push and make it work. And also the processes that we're working on and the systems that we're using to improve our operations and optimize our operations would be the road that is ready for this technology to advance, right? And the last but not less important, the people. We're also working in our company and in ABIM, we're focusing on this new capability model where, where we will be preparing our people to receive this transformation and these innovations. Because for us, the people, again, in this analogy, will be not only the ones that will drive the technology and use the technology and improve the systems, but also the people around the technology that will help us support the models and continue to, to push the technology to improve in the future. So just to, to close, we're looking, really looking forward to continue to meeting more startups here and more partners, strategic partners, whom we can work with and create these solutions. Again, not only focused on the innovation around and the technology, but also on the foundations, the data, and uh, the processes that we can create together to continue to improve. Because for us in ABM, we have this innovation DNA and we want to continuously improve. And we know that we can do it together and we can find new solutions here with you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias.